I just thought to share with you this beautiful view from my kitchen window. I am so blessed to have this. The smell here of these lilacs is intoxicating. It's a bliss for sure. and the clematis, autumn joy clematis. I haven't removed it from the top of the lilac. I usually leave it till the spring and remove it. Bloom in the late fall and the birds will be all over it once it's dry to eat so through the winter time. Just love the view from the kitchen window this spring. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of Downton Abbey. I have all the six seasons on DVDs. I'm a traditional girl at heart, I know. I love the interiors, exteriors, gardens, fashion, and tea time. The latter kind of really reminds me of home in a way where lady friends gather for tea with some bites to catch up on things. And that's why I hold a special place in my literary heart. With the second movie is premiering today, I thought, or rather I was inspired to plan a Downton Abbey tea escape. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the food, decor, and floor arrangement. As far as the food, tea is the star of tea time, of course. So English friends, correct me if I'm wrong, um, my understanding is that English breakfast is what is commonly known tea, referred to as the tea. So if you guys are thinking of hosting a party, tea party that is, just keep in mind to offer decaffeinated options such as uh, peppermint or any other variety. So with the tea, you're going to be presenting three variety of bites, yummy bites. You start with your savory first in the scones and then you finish with the desserts. As for the floor arrangement, I was inspired by the white roses in the opening credit of Downton Abbey series. So it's simple, clean and classic. So I use the grocery store roses. Um, I have two different varieties here, as you can see, and I use my thrifted fine crystal stand. It's a shallow bowl. It looks like it maybe another piece would have come with it, but that's the only piece I picked. And I love the bend and the shape of it. It's really simple yet elegant. Now I am not a florist. I don't it's not my profession to arrange flowers or anything, but I really enjoy flower arranging. If you guys haven't, please try to give it a try. Don't be intimidated. To me, it was frustrating at the beginning, but I really grew to love it because it was very meditative and adding something gorgeous and beautiful and cheerful in our house. And so even my little girls, they notice that and they, they just cheers them up and they love it and they make comments. So, you know, start small and build from there. But that is just my tip. And don't be afraid to try different sizes, different, but start small, uh, a small arrangement and build from there with colors, shapes, textures, have fun with it. So I used these roses, but I also finished with the cuttings from outside greenery. Um, we have a lilac tree that has like the buds coming out, which you can see those are the chartreuse color. So I took a clippings of that and I added the finished touches. As far as decor, um, manor houses evokes richness of colors and textures from like 
deep color walls to velvety curtains. And I noticed the feminine color mostly seen in the area where used by the women in the house, like the drawing rooms. There are more peachy colors in there, as well as pale greens. A lot of feminine motifs like floral, tapestries, and pastoral elements. I think evoked elegance and delicacy.